going to go ahead and call this meeting to order on uh, Tuesday, April 19th. Appreciate everybody being here. Um, first order of business is to approve the minutes from our last meeting on Tuesday, April 5th. I have one yes. comment to the minutes. Please. I was not here. Yeah, you weren't here. So please mark me as absent. I yes. think I made less motions than it shows. But <laughs> well, we're going to give you credit for all of them. So. Well, you remember we went straight through that one. Oh, we did that. That's one. right. Yeah, we did that. Okay. We did all the way. It looks like I was the whole meeting. I, yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Not, Didn't really mean really. <laughs> Not so aggressive. No, okay. All right. With that change okay. of uh, Mary Jane's absence, anything else? Any other changes? All right. Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the minutes with the change? So moved. All right. Is there a second? Second. Motion second. All those favor, say aye. 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 Let's pass. Uh, resolution number 30622. Uh, yes, Commissioner. This is consideration of a licensed facility agreement with Humane Society for the annual dog and jog uh, on the Country Club Plaza. Terrence. Uh, good afternoon, Commissioners. Good afternoon, we have before you today the uh, use and concession agreement for War Parkway. Um, the Humane Society of Greater Kansas City will have their uh, dog and jog event um, on June 12th. And we have Ms. Uh, Kathy Nichols here. Yeah, I would like to say a few words about the event. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, the event is going to be on June 12th. It's our 29th annual Dog and Jog, and it's going to be from 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., and we're expecting about 1,500 people. So. Okay. Great. Cool. I appreciate you doing this. All right. Any questions? Presenter? 29th annual. Yes. Okay. Good event. Very good. Thank yeah. You. Thank you so Thank much. You. Uh, is there a motion to accept? So moved. moved. Second. The motion is seconded. All those favor, say aye. 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 The resolution passes. Resolution number 30623. Uh, yes, Commissioner. Uh, another item that Terrence is handling. Um, this is a contract with Ben Energy. Um, going into uh, another year on this. And I know David is here, and uh, I'll leave it over to you, Terrence. Uh, good afternoon again, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Terrence. We have the Energy contract. Uh, <coughs> been working, well, I've personally been working with Energy for uh, a few months now. And uh, we have David Stefano here, um, and we've made some uh, some real important strides, especially with the uh, race. I mean, the race coordination. Um, I believe we have a, a lot less complaints this year than we've um, had in the past. And usually, those complaints come from the usual suspects, and so we don't really know how to handle those. And also, with the event permitting, we've been doing quite a bit to drive. Um, events that we handle to that site um, for the event help I mean for, to, for the event hub to help them with their permits outside of um, the parks department and we have uh, mr uh, david stefano here to like to say a few words okay good commissioners good afternoon how you doing well first uh we, we've enjoyed working on this and and uh, continuing to enhance race management race permitting management across the city and uh, connecting with all the city departments as well as with the stakeholders of the, the public uh, and the event organizers. And um, we continue to enhance the things that we're working on right now are uh, our continued communications plan with the signage that goes out for the races as well as the, the notification that happens to the uh, folks that are on or around the route to make sure that, that everyone's in compliance with that. Um, as well as uh, talking to folks about trails and um, moving people to, to inside parks and off the roads, which is where we get most of our complaints, is uh, with the roadways. And we've definitely seen folks move towards uh, doing walks inside parks versus on roads, and that's a good trend for us. I wanted to know if anyone had any questions for me. Uh, what would you say right now is really, truly, if there's something that you guys as a firm need to sort of improve when it comes to this work, what would those things be right now? Are your greatest challenges that you're finding? I mean, you've made tremendous strides. Right. Uh, yeah, and really happened. But if you could just kind of say, these are the, some things that are pressing, or, and what are things we could be doing to assist in that? Well, I, th I, think, um, I think for us, learning more about the, the, uh, the trail system and the parks and education, uh, using that for education of the uh, race organizers and the event organizers, because we're also, we're also managing outdoor events beyond racing. And, uh, and part of it is, is learning and education of the public. We, we meet with various um, citizens committees, uh, neighborhood associations, business associations, and just 
being up to date on everything, on what the availability is and, and opportunity. And we've been talking to Terrence about that quite a bit. So uh, we're starting to get integrated more and more into what you all do so we can be as much a part of your team as possible. But I think the, the main, where we have the most complaints is, is on uh, communications um, from the public. Uh, how does our plan work? Um, I didn't know about this race coming up. And, and so that's really where we spend a lot of our time um, with the public as well as helping race organizers learn how to put on a race properly and be in compliance. So I think we're in good shape with what our needs are. Um, uh, Terrence, we've been working with him now for several months and it's, it's been going well. We are moving st stuff online um, more and more so that we can uh, have better customer service. So. Fantastic. Well, you all still must be enjoying it if you're coming back again to sign up for a contract. So <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. Any other questions? Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve uh, so the contract? All right. Second. A motion seconded. All in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 Very good. Resolution passes. Resolution number 30624 regarding the United Tenants. Yes, Commissioners. Uh, contract amendment number three with uh, KC United Tenants, uh, better known as KCUT. Uh, this is my year of working with them on the class tennis courts, and uh, Doug uh, Schroeder is uh, our contract manager for this project. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello. Um, this is the third amendment to the contract. Uh, it's extended for year three of five years. Um, we've increased the rent uh, fifty dollars a month for this uh, term, which is May sixteenth through April seventeen. Uh, so they're going to pay fourteen eighty-five eighty-five a month, and that's uh, twelve hundred dollars in rent and two hundred eighty-five dollars and eighty-five cents for the phone charges. All right, very exact. <laughs> okay. Do you have any questions? questions? <laughs> okay. We're good. Thanks, Thank you. Is mm -hmm. there a motion to approve the resolution of the contract? Thirty minutes. So moved. <clears throat> Second. Motion seconded. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Resolution number 30625. Uh, yes, Commissioners. Amendment number three with custom care ash tree removal for in memo in your packet from Kevin LaPointe. Uh, details the scope and the time. And Kevin is here if you have any questions. Okay. Any questions? Yeah, Kevin, how successful has the treatment been? Uh, it's very successful. Uh, usually when we treat a tree, you know, it's a two-year cycle uh, that we have to treat on, but it's very effective, like 99.9% .9 effective. Mm -hmm. and it kills also native boards during the trees, so it works very well. Uh, what are we doing about replacing trees that, are, that we're disposing of? We're replacing every tree that we remove. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're budgeted for that at this point, and we're really glad about that. What are we using? What kind of tree? The treatment? Yeah. The no, replacement. The replacement tree. What type of this? Oh, it's a variety of trees. You know, we're trying to get some of the natives, keep with some of the natives, oaks and everything. We're putting lindens and um, horn beams and, you know, some native trees and just a variety, the typical maples and everything. Trying to get a good diversity and balance, okay. sticking with a lot of the guidelines that are used uh, these days for diversity. We don't have uh, more than a certain percentage of each family or species. And we post that list on our website, too. Okay, good. Okay, good. Any other questions? Uh, nope. Thanks, Kevin. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Big challenge. All right, is there a motion uh, to approve? So moved. Second. Motion second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Resolution passes. Resolution number 30626. Uh, yes, Commissioner, this is a recommendation for a bid award for Mr. Waterworks Park. Uh, so we have a memo from Travis that spells out the scope and uh, shelter and lighting and trails and a whole lot of great improvements in Waterworks. If you have any questions, uh, Travis is here to answer those. Any questions to Travis regarding this project? When, does, when would the start? Good afternoon, Commissioners. Uh, typically, we, we've seen that be anywhere from about 45 to 60 days after notice of award in order for the contractors to get their uh, bonds and insurance and, right. and uh, subs online. So, so a couple of months. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, this is exciting. So we get improvements to a really great park. Okay. Yep. 
I tell you, you would like to make the motion to accept. <laughs> so <much tonight>. Second. <laughs> second. Let you guys do it. All in favor, sit and by by saying aye. 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 Resolution number 30627. Uh, yes, commissioners, uh, this is a change order. Change order number one, the star signs for uh, work over in uh, Penn Valley Park. Um, time only. Any questions? Travis is here to answer. I guess the question I always ask, how come a delay? They had a contract due date to get it done, and they haven't. Is there a reason that it's we're extending the time? Um, yeah, I don't have a, an answer for that as far as uh, the exact reason for the time extension other than I know that the signage for Penn Valley and for um, Hodge and some of the other signature parks, that signage was approved in a package that, that you all saw earlier. Mm -hmm. And then this uh, change order allows them to finish up the work and also the change order for Gould Evans to do construction administration on that contract is also part of the change orders or amendments that are before you today. So to get this wrapped up this fall. Okay. Tra Travis, you might check with Jimmy. I think this has something to do with shop drawings. That's my understanding, but you can confirm okay. that with Jimmy. I will. <coughs> Any other questions? Right. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Uh, motion seconded. All in favor, sir. Aye. Aye. Resolution passed. Resolution number 30628. Uh, yes, commissioners, uh, this is a change order number one with D&D, uh, &D, a mm -hmm. custom construction company for uh, a variety of projects, uh, all spelled out in that second paragraph. Um, and again, if you have any questions, Travis here to answer those. <laughs> is there a, uh, any questions? Let me can get up this time. We decided not to let Travis get up for a third time in a row. So we were enjoying that. I can answer questions. Travis, I told you I just sit right back right there. I'm sorry, I actually do have a question. There you go. So I see the Plaza Tennis Center courts were surfacing. So we just okay. The next is is that going to happen here pretty quick for their season or when does when is that occurring? Yes, as far as the work within the change order, this, this work and the contract's already underway, so mm -hmm. you don't have that delay like you would with a new contract. Okay. So, so this will be done pretty quick yes. and then all of this is fast work. Yeah. That's, all fast work. Okay. That's a lot of good work, a lot of good things to yeah, work on mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get through them as Thanks. fast as we can. <laughs> 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 All right, so our motion is to accept. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion is seconded. All in favor, sitting for saying aye. Uh -huh. aye. Aye. Very good. Resolution number 30629 regarding uh, Longview Track. Yeah, and this is a pretty much a closeout change order uh, for the workout of Longview Track. It's change order number two for thousand dollars. Recommend approval. All right. Pretty straightforward. So moved. Is there, there's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion second. All in favor, say the part by saying aye. 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 Very good. Resolution number 30630. Yes, Commissioner. This is the work we looked at earlier relating to yep. the alignment of Show Pig Parkway with the Tal Farron Brown firm, number six, for uh, 83000 Recommend approval. <coughs> Again, if you have any additional questions, Travis is here to answer those. Hearing no questions, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Very good. Resolution number 30631. This is the one that Travis made reference to a short time ago. This is companion to the star signs for the work in uh, Penn Valley Park. The architectural part of the work recommend approval. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Right, is there questions? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion second. All in favor, so probably say aye. Aye. Very good. This is passed. 30632. Yes, commissioners, this is uh, CID at uh, Downtown Council. Uh, time extension, uh, amendment number one for streetscape beautification. Do you have any questions? Terry can answer those. Any questions? Hearing none, is there a motion to accept? 
So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Resolution number 30633. Yes, commissioners, uh, this is a uh, new CID agreement. <coughs> Bobby, we're to you on the agenda here now, so. We got through as fast as we could. <laughs> yeah. And Terry, you want to <coughs> kind of kick this off and then let Bobby make some comments? Sure, good afternoon, commissioners. Um, this is a great opportunity for us to continue partnership we've had with the independent CID and Bobby Baker Hughes on um, a creative approach to trying to make sure we're getting the most positive, best use out of Independence Plaza, which is a park that falls on both sides of the street. So I appreciate that um, Bobby and her group have stepped up and offered to help with some of the daily litter and daily monitoring of the park. And I'm sure Ms. Baker has a few words to say as well. So thank you. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I really don't have anything to say, which is rare. <laughs> <laughs> but because Terry thinks that I should, uh, <clears throat> you may very well be uh, all familiar with the Independence Avenue Community Improvement District. We have been now approximately three years and went into full cycle about two and a half years ago. And we feel like we're making our steps, um, but that we are progressively getting to where we want to be. We started out uh, our, our, our focus is crime, grime, and chime. Uh, crime and grime we're addressing here today that ultimately helps the chime in the historic Northeast area. The chime being the ringing of the cash registers, bringing more folks into shop and to enjoy our parks. This particular park on Independence Avenue and Park in Brooklyn has for many years been a problem in the community. Uh, I pulled some records not long ago in 1992 when the Independence Avenue, or Independence Boulevard was, was um, uh, redone and beautified, the very same problems existed then that exist now. And we feel that with the assistance of the CID and partnering with the park, that we can address some of those problems together. So we look forward to, <clears throat> excuse me, we look forward to an agreement with Parks and Rec to be able to carry that forward. We're excited about it. Thank you so much, Bobby, for all your hard work you do in that area and for the city and I think this is great just looking at what we've agreed to and I think we've always had a great partnership with you, know, you and, and the community up there and I'd like to see this continue to grow and hopefully this will just be the start of ongoing work with us. many more thank yeah, you yeah, very much nice. thank you any other questions comments thank you thank you Bobby all right is there a motion to accept uh, the agreement so moved is there a second, second. Mr. Second, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 As this passes. On to the uh, director's report. Yes, uh, Travis, construction. Good afternoon, commissioners. You'll find before you a, a sheet uh, out, outlining some of the improvements made to Town Fork Creek Greenway. And it was a new uh, backstop. Uh, put in there asphalt parking along Agnes and uh, uh, what's still under construction is the uh, shelter pad and the drinking fountains and so forth. The, the subsequent photos show what's uh, been constructed to date and that's the curb, the sidewalk, the parking area, the backstop. It uh, greatly enlarged the field and uh, there, there was a request from the neighbors to move it further back from the creek, so that's exactly what took place. Um, that last photograph down there shows some of the future phases that, that have been discussed on the project, and that's uh, the addition of a basketball and tennis court down there that they want to talk about uh, where the uh, northernmost field is when funding becomes available. No additional PIAC funding was provided uh, for Town Fort Creek project as of this May, May 1, 2016. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Travis. Thank you, Heidi. Hello. Hello. Um, well, we've already had a really busy April, and we have still a lot more to come just in the next couple of weeks. Of course, we had the opening of Go Ape Brooks Forest and Adventure and Zip Lines in Silk Park. 
And I know several of you got to do that. And yeah. did you enjoy it? Yeah, I had a blast. Yeah, had a blast. Did your fantastic. kids? They had a great time. <laughs> yes. was worn out. They were worn it out. It was exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, but I encourage everybody to go. It's, yeah. it's Absolutely. Lots yeah, of fun. It is. It's a great time. Great experience. Yeah, and they were full that whole weekend, so there's a lot of interest, at least initially, in doing it. Um, and then, of course, we had Fountain Day, where all the fountains came on, or all the ones that are operating came on, um, on April the 12th. And we had a beautiful day for that in Tice Park. Um, and, of course, that kicked off a new event that we're doing called the Feast of Fountains, which I've spoken to you about, which is our monthly food food truck events that will take place all over the city. I put a couple of the postcards out. Our next one will be uh, May the 12th, back, back in Tice Park, and then we'll move it around from there. Um, but this is, as I mentioned, a fundraiser for our fountains, so the pro portion of the proceeds from the sales of the food trucks will come back towards the City of Fountains Foundation. I've already gotten two checks in the mail today just from the kickoff. So. Oh, good. Yeah, it's already paying off. Um, in addition to the food trucks, we will also have live music at each of these events. So we're looking forward to it. Had a lot of good feedback about it um, on the day of Fountain Day, and quite a few people stuck around. So as we speak, right this moment, the Show Me State Games torch run is going on on the plaza. So the torch is running around. Sorry, Mark. Mark normally bears that torch. <laughs> but it was a conflict, obviously, with the board meeting going on. So. Uh, it happened, and it's happening in a, when it's not raining, because we're very concerned about that, um, which we are concerned about as well tomorrow, oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, with the groundbreaking for the Urban Youth Academy and Parade Park, uh, working with J.E. Dunn and, of course, the mayor's office on this, and they have got a big tent out there, so we will be covered, because um, I believe it probably will be raining yeah. in the morning, but it is at 10 o'clock, and you all are invited to be there, right. and it will be a formal groundbreaking. There's about nine people speaking, so it's... It's going to be lengthy, but uh, you will be covered. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, yeah, exactly. This weekend, we've got Discover Day. You have the fire here in front of you with the schedule of events. This is, of course, the thing that we do every spring and every fall to kind of introduce the new programming that's going on at the community centers. Three community centers will be participating on Saturday between the hours of 10 and 2, and we'll have free admission and activities. And these range from boot camp to swim lessons, basketball, of course. The, there will be free train rides at Kansas City or at Line Creek. Um, the Kansas City Northern Railroad is going to open up early just to let um, people ride the train. We'll also, of course, be able to do uh, public ice skating and have some skate lessons. And then over here at Southeast Community Center, they've got a whole slew of activities, including spinning, dancing, uh, sewing demonstration, a pool party, a boot camp, and arts and crafts. So it's a full day of activity. There's a lot of interest in it. So I anticipate that we'll have a pretty decent turnout um, on Saturday. And you can check kcparks.org for the complete schedule of events. Also on Saturday is our annual Arbor Day tree planting in Loose Park. And that will take place at 10 o'clock in the morning. Normally it's in the afternoon, so we've moved it up this year. And uh, they'll be planting a pecan tree in honor of, do you remember who it is offhand? A very good volunteer <laughs> for the garden center. They'll have to show up. Find out, yeah. Um, and then next week, we've got an event at the Central Park that we're doing in conjunction with the school district, a pilot presentation for improvements to the Central Park athletic fields and track. On the 27th, we have the lighting of the Waldo uh, Water Tower in Tower Park at 75th and Holmes, and we're going to light it up blue in honor of the World Championship Royals. Uh, retired Royals uh, Dennis Leonard. Leonard will be there to push the detonator to turn on the water tower. <laughs> that sounds awful. Light switch. <laughs> it's not a light switch. <laughs> but it looks cool. <laughs> and then just added is the groundbreaking on April the 28th, I believe. It's at 11 a.m. And that is for the Independence and Benton um, Improvement yeah, Project. That was, That's cool. that was with Bobby Baker. Yeah. So we'll be getting more uh, details to you about that next April the 30th is like a really, really busy day. We've got a ton of activities going on. A cleanup and bike ride on the Indian Creek Trail. Of course, the Tom Watson Golf Academy will be opening, and he will be there to do that and give, as well as give a, a, a children's golf. Golf, golf, golf lessons. What? Golf lessons. 
clinic. Clinic, clinic. thank you. That's the word I was searching clinic. for. Golf clinic for kids following the ribbon cutting. There's Children's Day at 9th and Van Brunt, and then there's the opening of the um, Carnes Playground in Roanoke Park. So really, really, really busy. April is about the busiest April I've seen as far as groundbreakings and openings. So that's good. We're doing lots of stuff, getting lots of sun stuff done and telling people about it, Commissioner Mecklenburg. <laughs> You'll see our social numbers are uh, reaping the benefit of this as well. They have been going up. We've had 45,000, almost 46,000 visits to our website in March. And then our Facebook and numbers are more than double of what they normally are. And then Twitter and Instagram about the same. We usually have between 100 and 200 people like or follow us each month on each of those social media outlets. So. In front of you, I've passed out a couple of things. I think I've referred to the Discover Day, the Train yep. Day, the Face to Fountains. There's also a postcard there um, about the Urban Golf Tournament that we're doing. Yes, I yeah. Know, yeah. So who's, we're doing that? We're putting that on? With the Casey crew. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, okay. Right. So wow. uh, Doug That's had seen it. it, and we went to Casey crew and said, look, this looks like something that you would really take an interest in and the millennials would love, and we're always trying to find a way to make us look cool to them. Mm -hmm. And he jumped right on it, so we're working with Lib Casey and Casey crew okay, on it. Cool. Yeah, so a lot of interest in that already. In fact, when I met with Luke on last Thursday, we already had 250 people sign up, and that's what? yeah, more than a month. Is out. there a max? A thousand. Holy moly! So we'll start in Washington Square Park. You're jumping on the uh, streetcar, riding down to the River Market, and then playing back and ending at Washington Square Park. So, <laughs> and they're not real golf balls. Oh. <laughs> they're, um, there you go. they're made no for problem. urban golf. They're more nerf like. Okay. So, oh, so yeah, they're softer. They won't go 250 yards. No. no. I think that they think they're saying the max they could go is like 40. Yeah, that's probably oh. enough. Yeah. There you go. There you so, go. Exciting I'm stuff. I'm pretty excited about that. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Is there a public <sighs> Do we want to do a quick calendar review? Uh, just a couple things that uh, Heidi may not have I thought we just did the calendar review. Yeah, she, did. <laughs> she covers 98% of it. So she one thing I'll mention is we have a, at the tail end of the month, we've got a, a FOTS board meeting and Starlight Theater board meeting on those two days, 27th and 28th. Otherwise, most of the items were mentioned there. This does show two tentative dates for the urban. Obviously, we pinpointed that on the 20th. So the correct time on that. So that's it. Okay. Anything else for the good order? Um, I wasn't able to unfortunately make it out for the fountain day, but I've yeah. been driving past the children's fountain. I drive past it twice every day. Yeah. And it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's good. The basin, the statues, the pedestals, even the landscaping. I mean, I think it works best that I can remember it looking. It looks fantastic. There's been tons of people out there. I just had a wedding party out there this weekend. So it's great stuff. Anyway, just I great to I, see. I don't know if you saw the editorial in Sunday's paper about fountains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got s several emails from the City of Fountains Foundation following the editorial. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the reason I did is because they very much value the partnership with the park board to make that all happen. Uh, and truly understand that. Um, you know, we all have limited resources, so that's why they've raised money and we put park money into those projects and a lot of time and effort from our staff to make it happen. Because it's criticizing the city is what it does. Mm -hmm. But I think that uh, is going north of here, not to this building. Mm -hmm. So that's what they want to make sure that was known to the park mm -hmm. board. Well, that's good. Yep. Understood. Okay. Anything else? Thank you. All right. Meeting is adjourned.